Bear here, aka Peter Freako 10, baby. Now, on today's video, I might make this a little bit quick, may not, but today's video is going to be a little bit different because today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys something that's going to change this channel because it's going to change the format a little bit. It's going to change, um, it's going to change, like, the quality of the videos because I think that it'll step the videos up a notch. And I think it'll make them different, and I'll have something different to record with and everything. Because today, I got myself a new camera, and it is a Kodak PixPro FZ53. This is an HD digital camera. It's five times wide. Um, this is what we're going to be filming with from now on. And just wanted to show you guys this thing. A really cool looking camera. Um, Start up like this. I was gonna do an unboxing of it, but um, I kept getting interrupted and everything as I was opening it. I was halfway into opening it, so figured, you know what, just why not show it off and everything? May do some tests with it. But god damn, I love this thing. I'm glad that I got it. Um, already have it set up and everything. I got it charged and everything. Um, I like the whole thing with it, and it comes with this thing, um, I even got, like, a standee I can put it on, which is cool, um, put that right there into it, and you just, okay, is it ever gonna, do I have to, Alright, so pretty much this is it. This is how it's going to be filmed and everything. Hope it guy can stay up like that. If it stays steady, um, yeah, it looks very good. It looks very good. Um, definitely, definitely has a lot on it and everything, but that's the camera and the tripod. I also got with me a, um, let me get this off. Got with me this, a pouch to put it in, um, put that to the side, um, the charger plug, which um, could be useful, a um, little pouch to put the, or little thing to put the, um, to put the, uh, whatever they're called, the, H, the files, whatever you want to call them, put those in there, you got this, uh, the, the Video Pro, Kodak, I don't know, Vid Pro, USB is what I meant to say, but, yeah, really a lot, and even a brush, too, so, yeah. For the longest time, I've really been looking for a camera, and I think I came across a good one. This is, to me, I think one of the best cameras I think i found and everything. And especially when you got all of these, so you're really getting a bang for your buck. So, can't wait to do my first review with these things. I'm still working on my review of The Warriors uh, that's coming along. In fact, you know what? Um, I might just show a quick update since I have some time here. I got some time, so why not show some stuff I picked up recently? Because I got some films and I have some games coming along the way, but why not just show some movies I picked up recently? Some of them I've really been looking for. Uh, one of them I actually upgraded from my VHS tape, and I'll show that off first. Um, first film that I got, this is one that, this is a film with Keanu Reeves that I think a lot of people are very split down the middle with, but I had this film on VHS, so I figured, you know what, why not upgrade the DVD, because I'd say this is one of my favorite Keanu Reeves films. I think it gets too much of a bad rap, but I think it's a fun action film. I know the director, Robert Longo, has said what he needs to say about it uh, from an interview I read recently. I know the time he had making this was stressful. I know TriStar was a bitch to work with, and they cut the film in a way to him that was baffling. But his original concept I wasn't the biggest fan of. I agree with the studio that I think it would have worked better this way. I've always liked this film. I never understood the hate that God. I, in fact, I'll say it's one of my favorite action films, and that is 
Johnny Monomic. Yeah, I know. I love this film. Film. It's so... I'm, I think it's because I'm in that sort of range that this movie was targeted for. Let me just get the... Yes. The range that this movie was targeted for. Sort of the punk rock sort of dude. Um, this sort of yo bro sort of feel to it. I just... I like the look of the film. Keanu Reeves, I think, gives a great performance. Uh, Henry Rollins is a lot of fun. Dina Meyer. Uh... Dolph Lundgren as the crazy preacher. It's preaching time. I want to review this film sometime. I might review it in the future. Um, but I've always liked this film. I never thought it was as bad as everybody made it out to be when it came out. Thankfully, it seems to be getting a call falling. But, you know, I think it's a fun film. Sadly, no features. Um, I really wish... Because I think there is a behind-the-scenes making of this film. And I really would love to see that. But I'll review this film in the future. Uh, I'll definitely give my thoughts on it sometime. That's thing. And the next DVD that I got, um, this is a film that um, I really wanted to check out. Um, I've always heard a, many, many great things about this film. And I recently heard an interview with the main actress from this film on uh, Dead Pit Radio. Um, Felissa Rose, I think her name is, um, and she talked about this film and figured, why not pick it up? I want to get the other films in the series, but I'll review this one first, and that is Sleepaway Camp. This is the Anchor, Anchor Bay DVD. Sadly, not much for features, um, but still looks like a really fun film, still looks like it could offer it a lot. I always remember that poster with the the shoe and the knife going through it. I thought it was a really cool poster. And you have the the kid's letter in the background. Dear Mom and Dad, Dad, I've been at sleepaway camp for almost three weeks now, and I'm getting very scared. All the kids are getting killed. Killed. And it stops there. But it's a funny-ass letter. But, yeah. In terms of features, you get commentary by Felicia Rose and the director and moderator Jeff Hayes. You also get a two theatrical trailer, there, which could go off for a lot. But, um, yeah, I figured why not give this film a shot. And the next DVD I got, I got this one because I'm gonna, I just ordered the game, which is coming today. And I, this one has a making of the game, so I figured why not pick this DVD up. Uh, it's a newer edition of it, the Platinum Edition. And this movie needs no introduction. It's a classic that I think everybody has seen once. Uh, once, And that is none other than Scarface, The World is Yours. What is there to say? It's Scarface. Al Pacino. Say hello to my little friend. What is there to be said? Al Scarface is a classic. Directed by Brian De Palma, Al Pacino, Michelle Pfeiffer, Robert Loja. So many great people in this film. And you get... All new special features, you get an all new digitally enhanced Dolby Digital and DTS 5.1 audio, digitally remastered picture, over 20 minutes of deleted scenes, the world of Tony Montana experience the world of the ultimate gangster and all new feature, you're from the experts on real life violence and paranormal, paranoia surrounding a drug lord, Scarface scorecard, watch like never before, keep track of the number of times. The F word is used and monitor bullets fired. And then you get the, the making of the video game. The Scarface, the world is yours. And behind the scenes look at the creation of the game. And there's also the rebirth. Um, birth. Um, they examine the history, history from the original Scarface. Because this is a remake of a 1932 film. Of the creating a fascinating look at the making of Scarface. And the controversies and struggles that played the filmmakers on... Location changes, filming the chainsaw scene, battle to gain R rating, and more. And the acting and TV clips. Um, so yeah, what is there to be said? I'll review this film sometime, but Scarface is a classic. Here's a film. Here's one of the few films from uh, the 80s that was following in the trend of the slasher boom. And I figured why not pick this up because I've been trying to get this film for a while. I remember a long time ago, I asked my... I tried to get this for Christmas one time, but I got a UK DVD of it, and I don't have a Region 3 player, but I got this DVD of it, and I'm glad I got it in this cover, because I think there's another cover out there that looks so shitty. I'm glad I have it in this cover, because this is, to me, I think how the film, this is how the film should be known as, and that is April Fool's Day. Day. Yeah, this film. 
Mill. My review at some time in the future. Directed by Fred Walton. Um, produced by the guy who did the Friday 13th, 3 and 5, uh, Species, Body Parts, Frank Mancuso Jr. And you got a good cast in this. You got Amy Steele, you got Biff from Back to the Future, um, Thomas F. Wilson, I think his name is. Looks like a really fun film, so I might give this a shot. Um, but yeah, there's that. And next up is another film that I think a lot of horror fans have heard of. And this DVD, I could not pass up. I had to get this DVD because this thing is out of print. And so basically I was like, I'm going to get me a copy of this because this movie I've always wanted to see. I've heard great things about it. In fact, on the back it says, one of the all-time drive-in movie classics from Joe Bob Briggs. And it is none other than... Madman. This is another take on the Cropsy story, the burning, like the burning. Um, yeah, um, basically about this guy, Madman Mars, who was a berserk local farmer who butchered his entire family. And these kids, they're in the woods camping, and they make fun of the legend, and he comes around killing them. Them. Looks like a really fun film. Looks like it could offer up a lot. I'm really excited to see it. So I might review this for Halloween or something. But that's Madman. Had to get this because I, I love uh, the first film. So, and I want to review the first film sometime. As I said, I plan to review it soon. But um, figured why not get the sequel. So after I review it, I have it ready to watch it. Especially when you have a hot-ass Kate N Nadia. Uh, Kate no Noita as the villain how can you not pass up the transporter 2 this has a lot to live up to because I love the first one better than the original says the Chicago Sun Times let's hope so by the way for those wondering in terms of the features for these two there's nothing on them but um yeah I like the first film I'll talk about why in my review but I'll get my thoughts on this one another time but this one has a deleted extended scenes, blooper reel, making up Transporter 2 featurette, making the music, and that's pretty much it. But that's um, Transporter 2. Really looking forward to checking that out. Here's a double feature of two films I've actually wanted in my collection for a while. Wayne's World and Wayne's World 2. Um, thankfully, on their own individual discs. So, yeah. Couldn't pass this up. What is there to be said about Wayne's World? It's a classic. Direct The first one directed by Penelope Cyphers, who did uh, Little Rascals. Uh, she did the Beverly Hillbillies, which I like. I know a lot of people hate that film. May Jim Varney rest in peace, but I thought he played the perfect father in that film. I thought the cast in that did a good job. Um, uh, it, yes, it is a remake of the pilot, which I know that's something that they've complained about, but I don't hate the film. I thought I got some good laughs out of it. Um, uh, it was nice to see Rob Schneider get the shit kicked out of him. Um, I thought, as I said, I thought the cast did well. Jim Varney gave a good performance. Um, I thought it was a, you could definitely tell it was a, it had a good budget. I liked the scene with the monster truck. It was a fun film. But she also did Black Sheep, which I think is her best film. I know there's history to that film, too, with, uh, David Spade was a douche on set, and they kept going back and forth, even though she hired him back for Senseless. Liz, but the first Wayne's World is a classic. I'll do a review on it at a time. Wayne's World 2, on the other hand, is not directed by Penelope Sears, but by this guy named Stefan Shurchik. Um, get a hot-ass performance by uh, Kim Basinger in this. Um, um, just all around, such a looks like a fun film. I like the look of it. I think it's a good-looking film. may not be as funny as the first, because the first one I think is funnier, but I still think it's a fun film. And these two have their features still. Extreme close-up, cast and crew interview, and commentary with both directors. So it was nice to see them put the features back on. So, yeah, there's that. Had to get this film, because I missed this film, uh... Film. I just figured, why not pick it up? And that is Mr. and Mrs. Smith with the hot-ass Angelina Jolie in this. My God, she is smoking hot in this. I'll say that right now. Now, but yeah, probably one of her hottest roles, I'll say. <laughs> yeah, I know, I look like I'm orgasming on that, but it's true, she is. But, um, yeah. 
But I had to get this film because I've been wanting to see it for a while. In terms of features, this one has uh, deleted and extend deleted scenes uh, with action, uh, full length commentary with director Doug Lyman and screenwriter Simon Kinberg. Really, Simon Kinberg wrote this. Wow. And making a scene, trailers, and more. So got some good ass features on this DVD. DVD. But that's uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. To add to my uh, Masters of Horror collection, I got um, the Stuart Gordon one, Dreams in the Witch House, which this one and Chocolate are my least favorite ones. In fact, I just bought this just to have it for the collection. Um, but maybe if I, when I review these for Halloween, maybe this one will grow on me. I just remember not being the biggest fan of this one. I thought it was too depressing at the end. The ending was... The ending itself just sucked. It just, it didn't know what it wanted to be. Uh, it just, to me, felt like it could have been better. That's just me, though. I thought that that one could have been better. But um, other than that, uh, you get. But besides that, you got for the features. I can live with it. Um, with that, you also you got um, commentary with Stuart Gordon actor Ezra Golden, behind the scenes, the making of The Dreams in the Witch House, working with the master Stuart Gordon, Dr Dreams, Darkness, and Damnation, an interview with Stuart Gordon, an interview with Chelly Horsdale, script to scream, D Dreams in the Witch House, Stuart Gordon doc bio, and some trailer, still gallery storyboard, and DVD-ROM, and all that stuff. But still for the collection, nice to have. However, this one, though, I can say is the opposite. I love this one. That is Jennifer. Uh, this is probably, to me, I think one of my favorite, if not my favorite, of the Masters of Horror so far. Um, I think this is one of Dario Gento's best ones. Let me just get the sticker off this one. Can I get it off? Yeah, there we go. But, yeah. I think this is one of the best of this one. Um, Steven Weber, yes, I do not like. I thought he did a good job in this. Let me get the sticker off here. But I thought it was a good one. I really liked this one. Um, I thought it was a well-made... Um, I thought it was a well-made one. Uh, I enjoyed the gore in it, the practical effects. Um, I think uh, K&B helped a little bit with this one, which they helped a lot with these, so... If you're in it for the gore of this series, you're definitely going to get your gore. But, yeah, I, I'll give a review on why I love this one later. But you get interview with Dario Argento, working with the master Dario Argento, on-set interview with, Dar with Steven Webber, on-set interview with Carrie Ann Fleming, script to screen Jennifer, behind the scenes, the making of Jennifer, audio commentary with writer-actor Steven Webber, Howard Berger, and the makeup of Jennifer for... I'll give a review on that. I really am looking forward to the um, uh, to the Takashi Miike one imprint because I like some of Takashi Miike stuff. I like his little role in Hostel. Be careful. You could spend all your money in there. But yeah. And the last DVD that I got, I already reviewed this film by Warner for the collection. Final Destination 3. This is the two-disc thrill ride edition. This is a Best Buy exclusive. And this one actually has tickets to see... Snakes on a Plane. Uh, let me open it up. Um, there's the ticket right there. I could use that for later, but um, oh, something else. But yeah, use that for something. But um, thank you for buying this DVD as Best Buy as a gift. We are sending you to the movie. Simple, de simply detach the certificate below. Present at any participating theater. Enjoy the show. So yeah. Use that for something later, but um, yeah, as I said, this is a two disc edition. Um, you get uh, bonus features and the film on here, and as I said, um, there's a lot of features on this DVD. Um, they're the biggest feature being that you act they that I said in my review is that you can actually uh, make your own movie. Be while make watching this, um, pretty much like what they do is they actually during the making of this film they went back and shot some scenes uh, for this DVD. So and there's gonna be and there's like a 
a component in this DVD where you can actually watch the film and as stuff is going on, you can actually press this way and it'll do something different. It'll do something uh, different from what you saw in the two theatrical. You can make the particular characters you wanted to survive in the movie actually survive. So yeah, I thought that was cool with this DVD. Definitely nice to have this for the collection. I really like this film. I think it's probably the second best of the series. I will say that right now. I, I think that each sequel is great in their own way. The Final Destination films. I like this one. I'm sorry to say. But yeah. That's Final Destination 3. Other features you got the making of. Uh, um, a comprehensive documentary unveiling the behind the scenes, the secrets behind the scenes of the gory mayhem dead teenager movie featurette, which they have, which is where you have like some people talking about the slasher genre. It's all around you, a uh, commentary and two theatrical trailer and television spots a lot more. But Final Destination Three, I think, is a great one. But that's pretty much what I have for an update. I'm um, really looking forward to using this camera. Really looking forward to um, really looking forward to getting these reviews to you guys. Um, if you guys like what you see, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe in the box in the bottom. Be sure to tell me if you guys have seen those films. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. I'll see you guys next time for the review of the Warriors in the wonderful world of YouTube. Bye.